from Indiana's news leader. This is Channel 13 Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. Also coming up next on the Health Beat tonight. We hear a lot about robotic surgery. Tonight, we try our hand at it in a first-of-its-kind application in the state of Indiana. And we'll tell you why patients are picking this procedure. Coming up next on The Health Beat tonight, we're going to talk about a medical first right here in Indiana, making surgery less painful for some patients. On The Health Beat tonight, we're going to talk about a medical first right here in the state of Indiana. Our healthy reporter, Amory Tiernan, joins us now on this revolutionary procedure and how the patient is doing. How remarkable is this? Well, it's great. You know, she is doing great seven days out of surgery. A pair of St. Vincent surgeons are among the first two dozen in the nation and the first in the state of Indiana to use a robot to remove a a thyroid and soon they'll use it for cancers in the head, neck and throat. 45 year old Karen Sullivan has her granddaughter model her brand new Easter dress and now just a week after surgery grandma Karen is ready for family photos too. You're looking at me and I have no scar and my thyroid on my right side is gone. Karen's surgery at St. Vincent followed the discovery of a one and a half inch tumor on her thyroid. The thyroid gland is a gland that sits in the lower midline of the neck, right over the trachea, like a shield. The approach to the thyroid, surgically, has traditionally been through an incision in the neck. We're doing something completely different. We're approaching a thyroid through the armpit rather than through the neck, which has really never been done before. Her doctors used the Da Vinci robotic arms to travel across the top of her chest, cut and remove the thyroid. It added about 45 minutes to the procedure. The only real bruising and stuff is right there where you see it. So, I mean, I think it, I think it was a real success. Karen was one of the first patients to have this done for a thyroid tumor in the state, but she'll just be the first, one of the first of many. We anticipate that this will become more mainstream. Her doctors say the recent FDA approval in January of using the Da Vinci for head, neck, and throat cancers, too, presents a paradigm shift for treatment. Our application for cancer in the mouth would be to avoid actually splitting the jaw and doing it directly. So for us and our specialty, this really allows us to do procedures that have never been done before. Medical advancements aside, Karen is grateful her tumor was benign, and for the most part, her scar... A secret oh, and no one knows I've had it done and so I kind of like that appeal that no one knows that it's been done you know hi dear you say grandma Giger say hi say hi now, the application for the head, neck, and throat cancers is significant. It means less deformities for the patient, and in those cases, a shorter surgery and recovery time. These doctors at St. Vincent, among only a handful in the nation, that are offering this surgical option. Well, she made history, and she looks fabulous. Well, she does, and it was really fun because we got to play with that robot mm -hmm. today and see how they manipulate it. It's really neat technology. A medical first. Mm -hmm. Anne-Marie, thank you for the health beat tonight.